All right, so this is how to install the wheel pack by Epoxy. I don't really know how to pronounce the name, but someone asked for a tutorial on how to do this. So you just click uh, download right here and then start download and it should start downloading. And then you also want to download um, this image editor. I'll have it in the description below, but it should look like this when you extract it. Um, and then also, once you extract the wheel pack, you should have a folder like this. So what you want to do first is look for your uh, GTA San Andreas, wherever it's installed. So mine's right here. All right, so this is the one I want to mod or whatever. So uh, once you get to your San Andreas, make sure it's downgraded to version 1.0, obviously. So you could install this uh, wheel pack and then you want to go to data and then you want to go to maps and you want to go to vehicle mods or VEH underscore mods right here. And it'll only have one file, that's fine. But you want to go back to your uh, wheel pack folder and as you can see it has this uh, file right here. I'm just going to right click copy and paste this. If you want to keep the original or like make a backup of the original, you could do that, but I don't really care about this. So I'm just going to replace it. And then you want to open up the image editor folder. So this is how it looks. You're going to open it. And then you want to click on this blue folder right here. It says open. And then you want to look for your San Andreas folder again. So mine is right here. So once you get to your San Andreas folder, uh, the base folder or whatever, it should look like this. I'm going to go to models and then you'll see GTA 3 disk image file. So just open that and it'll look like this. You're going to do actions, import, remove if exists, the second option. And then you want to go find your uh, wheel pack. So mine is my desktop right here and you want to drag literally, literally just drag all this like highlight them i mean sorry and then click open and then save all right so once you've saved it you can do file exit and you're pretty much done it should work um yeah that's pretty much it let me know if it works if not uh, I'll try to find a fix or something.